Right, this is the uh, swarm I took out of the compost bin the other day. I cut out the uh, comb and I just put it into a brood riser, it was the quickest way of getting them in. And uh, so now I just want to take them out of this wild comb here and transfer it down into the bottom box. So I'm just going to show you my technique of the way that I transfer the comb into frames. Generally if there wasn't a lot of brood in there I would actually remove all the comb and just let them draw out new ones. Mm -hmm. So um, I have the queen here I found her and I put her just out of the way that way I'm not damaging any uh, bees. So in order to get them onto a frame we just put it like this and I'm then going to support it into the comb with elastic bands so we just try and get her going Now, that's one side supported. We need to come down. The middle. Get my hands out of the way. Stick another one on it. see what that is like so just try and straighten up the comb I'll put another one here Move this to the middle here one here as well. Two already done so I just pop this out to the side slightly. That's fairly straight on the comb. Just take off any bits that's there. And just put it out to the side just while I take the other comb out of it as well. So, so here we have Big frame of brood. There's two of them stuck here to one another. Anything that doesn't have uh, brood in it, we can get rid of it. Another one here. And then I've already just glued this back in a bit. Another little patch of brood. Just puts out to the side. No brood in that, so we just get rid of that. I'll just put the queen down here in the bottom, just to keep them happy in here. And then we'll try and get this then onto another brood frame. So. I can fit two of these in, to be all the better. That seems about right. So, elastic bands.
these bees are just, I haven't even smoked them or anything, so they're just, they're, they're lovely bees. Oh, I might go into my genetic uh, pool. Earlier on the year, I just would scrap the brood, but they're they're going to just need this now, just for the boost the numbers for, mm -hmm. for the winter time. And that looks good. We just straighten it up. I'll just come back again tomorrow to straighten it up in case it sags. actually young bees and all hatching out there so I have about all the viable brood that I need and now just to uh, it's a small patch of that there that'll fit in there lovely handy to have the elastic bands in the car. Now, so it's just a matter of getting the frames now transferred in. and everything up.
focus here. Tomorrow I'll just come back because I'm going to give them a gallon of syrup now and uh, I'll just rake them any frames that are there. Polys is that if you just take out the outside frames just about a quarter of an inch from both sides leaves it perfect for them to draw out poly extension that I have removed this insert out and it gives you a set of six frames eight frames that's in it and hopefully once I give these the gallon of syrup that uh, they'll get all of that drawn out now um, just about ready to go Release Her Majesty. Let's see her in there. Oh. She was just about going to fly. Queen. Generally, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'd release her down onto the frames, but I'm just trying to let you see her. Um, the other thing, what I do is the feeders, um, the stick that comes with the feeder, is that I replace it with one that fits properly, um, a little bit wider than what comes with it, and a little bit longer, and it just stops the uh, any of the bees drowning in it so um, I just have a good few of them that I do. Um, I'd normally now fill this completely right to the very top with my uh, feed with thyme oil that I have mixed into it but um, there's a lot of bees in the feeder here at the moment so I'm just going to leave that for uh, 24 hours or whatever I'll just check in it as soon as the bees are out of the feeder then um, a way of, of putting your uh, your top on if you don't want to crush bees is you can just slide like that or generally you can slide like this here and that way then that you have no bees crushed at all on it like, you know so um, sometimes with these uh, feeders or with this the plastic is a little bit soft and uh, you can end up crushing bees so I just put a little stick there to support the uh, the plastic and then when you put your brick on top of your hive you don't hear that crunch sound of, uh, of bees so um, and that's just to fill in my record cards then I leave that brick upright knowing that I've got to do something with that hive and uh, I'll check on her in a couple of days time straighten up the frames feed her again 
and uh, I'll keep feeding until they have all of that pulled out and they have all the comb drawn, especially the ones that I've strapped in from end to end, which will support that. But those frames will be marked that there's no wire in them, so they'll be marked for replacing as soon as the brood hatches out. Okay.